We're here at the Utah State Press Conference where they just eliminated Michigan State by the score of 9-8 to eight in 10 innings. The floor is now open for questions. Congratulations, guys. Good battle. Brad, ninth inning, you had the bases. They had the bases loaded, and you had the infield up. You had a ground ball to third. He threw to first. Did you have a play at the plate? I thought we did, but, you know, it worked out. That's the game of baseball, you know. Put the ball – when the ball is – given to you you just got to take what, what's given to you and it all worked out in the end so coach um so you're up uh five runs they battle back to tie then you go up eight five they battle back again what's the message in the dugout at that point just keep doing what we're doing pound away you know be consistent execute and i think that was our game plan going into the game was executing uh putting bunts down executing when we had runners in pos scoring position throwing the ball and throwing strikes, and that was really the key to the game, I think. Jake, were you anticipating a pitch on the outside? Were you looking for that? I wasn't necessarily looking for the pitch on the outside, but he'd been throwing that slider by me all day, so I knew he was going to come back to it, and I was just hoping I got a piece of it, and it turned out to be the best piece of it. <laughs> Michael, uh, you obviously a shortstop all day, then come in uh, a relief pitch, um, then you come up in the 10th. Um, talk about your approach at the plate. You were down 0-2 and seemed to hit a pretty similar ball to what you hit in uh, the eighth inning. Were you just looking to make contact at that point or what's going through your head? Yeah, so I was just going to take the first pitch because I hadn't seen that pitcher. And then he threw me a good pitch for the second pitch. Like, it was a dirty slider. And then I was kind of just like on my heels at that point. And I just got lucky, saw he was throwing a slider, and hit over the second baseman. Brad, uh, through two innings, I believe the score was 5 nothing. It looked like uh, you guys were going to run away with this game early on. Uh, and then Michigan St State began to creep back into it. Uh, what do you attribute to their ability to do that versus, uh, you know, really just putting your, putting your foot on their throat and be able to, to, to knock them down and knock them out all the way early? I would say, you know, giving them free bases, you know, walking guys coming in and, you know, we can't, you can't defend walks. And I think that was the biggest thing. And when you put pressure on yourself and walk people, uh, it's tough to defend walks. And when you get one hit, there's two runs there. Um, but, yeah, I would say we just got to come out and throw strikes. And I think that was the biggest difference. And on the offensive side, we need to make sure that we're staying consistent from inning one through nine and making sure that we're always playing for one run every inning and, and then going from there. Michael, what, what was your mindset after the ninth inning? Um, kind of just do what I was doing, just try and throw strikes and um, work batter by batter and um, just – try my best to let him hit it and have uh, faith in my defense. Brad, but who are you going to start next game? Got Tyrese. He's our number three that we've we've relied on all year. Very confident in him, and so he'll, he'll be ready to go. Any further questions? All right, thank you, gentlemen.